So, uh, I woke up, I'm using a reflection right here so you can see me. I got about 30 minutes sleep in my car and I woke up, I had a really, really bad feeling. I start scrambling through my bag. <laughs> I didn't pack my jacket. <laughs> Or my hoodie. Or my pullover. Yeah. Fortunately, had a few extra hoodies <laughs> in the car. What a way to start off. It's cold. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hiking the tallest peak. In the United States and you forget your jacket. <laughs> uh, anyways, here's the sign I'm using as a reflection. So, don't know how well you can hear me, but I pretty much have no clue what I'm doing. It's 11.30. And as I just showed you, I forgot my jacket. This is about all the visibility I have right now. So if a bear's over here, I'm in big trouble. So, there's that. <laughs> Alright, so this is somewhat of an iconic thing to do here at Mount Whitney. There's a little scale and you weigh your bag. Mine's weighing in right at 25 pounds. 25 pounds for 22 miles. Let's do it. Alright, so I know you probably can't see anything. That's I'm about 10 steps in, and look at all this. This is intense. I'm in way over my head. Um, I mean, this is the real deal. I tell you what, my eyes are already playing tricks on me. I keep thinking I see a bear. Truth is, I probably am seeing bears. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, please keep me safe. Oh. Well, that's the moon. I'm officially 24. <sighs> so far so good. Got a long ways to go. Let's keep going. I just quickly want to go on the record for saying this is hands down the dumbest thing that I've ever done. So, At least I know that this is stupid. I mean, this is so stupid. Not the fact that I'm doing it, but the fact that I'm alone and the fact that bears live here. Like, legitimately. And I don't know about you, but around midnight when I'm just chilling, I get hungry. 
And I would imagine a giant black bear is no different. Oh my goodness. Well, not really sure what to do here. This looks pretty dicey, but let's do it. Oh my goodness. That was that was pretty crazy. <laughs> right now I'm hitting some switchbacks which are basically uh, an S shape path as it's too steep to to be a straight path so um you kind of snake your way up the mountain it's a lot easier and they're called switchbacks dang that scared me so much my heart's already beating so fast but I thought I heard a snake might have been my pants swishing anyways every time I think the trail is just like over and I made a wrong turn <laughs> it's just a switchback um, Anyways, also note, if you don't want to hear me talking, uh, then you can just skip forward to the, see what I'm talking about? That looks like I'm going to die, but then you just turn really sharp, and the trail keeps going. Anyways, I'm getting all my talking out now, so when it's daylight and you can actually see how pretty this stuff is, I'll be too tired to talk, and you can just enjoy the views. So... If you want to fast forward to that, you can. I just thank you for watching. If you fast forward though, give me a thumbs up for my birthday. Risk my life on my birthday. Alright. We're going to party like it's my birthday. Alright, bye. Alright, I'm about an hour and a half in. Um, my right hip flexor is getting pretty tight on me. And... It's starting to get a little hard to breathe. Let's see if we can get over this safely. At two hours in, I'm gonna pit stop, get a bite to eat, take this pack off I tell you 25 pounds doesn't sound like much but it's getting heavy so I'm going to deload uh, approximately every two hours and refuel and rehydrate take about 10 minutes to get off my feet and then a light stretch before I get back into it. This map is not suitable for navigation. Oh, let's see, Lone Pine Lake. 
shows it over there. So, goodness, <laughs> I'm not even close. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm at Lone Pine Lake. Well, I'm I'm right here, 2.6 miles in. So yeah, if I if I go left, that would take me over to Lone Pine Lake, which I don't want to go. So I need to keep going. Um, I'm about to get to the Mount Whitney zone, uh, where I need my permit, which I have, and then. The next stop will be Outpost Camp at 10,500 feet. Right now I'm at 10,000 feet. Um, it is 145. Just shy of 145. I don't think I can get to Outpost Camp within 15 minutes. But I would like to get... At least a little bit further. Actually. Let's go to outpost camp. And that's where I'll. Refuel. Hey so. I've got to be quiet. Because I'm at outpost camp. And there's some people here in tents sleeping. But I'm about to have a snack. I'm four miles in. I feel okay. So. So I'm at Mirror Lake. Um, let's see. I should just pass it on my right. Okay. I think I know what I did wrong. So what I've been having to do. Even though it hurts or kind of sucks at first, is my hands are so cold. Um, I put them underneath my shirt and just like hold my body and then put them back in these gloves. These gloves are just so cold. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now, and then we're gonna get back on track. Well, the terrain has definitely shifted. Um, to just rock. There's really no trail, at least not one that's easy to make out. I may be very, very lost. Um, that's my fear right now. Is, uh, is that I'm getting deeper and deeper into these mountains and getting more and more lost. Um, this just doesn't seem like the trail but you never know it's 3 335 in the morning I'm about 11,000 feet up and I'm lost
My pace is really slowed down. This is the terrain that I'm dealing with. Unforgiving. Treacherous. The altitude's getting hard too. I'm having to catch my breath. Quite often. My left heel seems to uh, be wanting to get a blister. And my right hip flexor has continued tightening. Each step is getting pretty painful. I'm getting pretty tired too. Uh. A nap sounds nice right about now. Uh, run into uh, some snow. Oh, I tell you what, guys, I'm really struggling. Uh, my head, I can feel my heart beat in my head. I have no idea where I'm at. Whew. I have no idea where I am. Oh, my head hurts so bad. I need to eat, but I can't breathe. I'm gonna try to eat a little and uh, take a little headache medicine.